Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live and Planet X here on Patreon. And um, boy, this one's going to be a very difficult video to do with you guys this evening. As you know, uh, I have been involved with a project on this uh, with the government volunteering some insight on things that I'm asked about. And I know that there have been three different bodies that they are tracking that are all potential Planet X objects. Well, today, the subject came up once again in a course of meetings there, but we've been dealing more with the issue of Russia and Ukraine. And as we begin to talk about it, there was a new meeting that had just came out uh, in the government about Planet X and or as they call it Planet 9 that totally took me by surprise. Now it does not change the meteorite object of 2031 or not meteorite but the um, comet I should say of 2030, 2030, 2031 the one that they call the Planet Killer uh, or extinction level event, uh, that this is something that they're preparing for in 2030-2031 extinction level event, which is what I have really believed to be the coming uh, Planet X. Of course, there was another one that they told me about, another uh, comet that would come through in 2024-2025-ish, roughly in that time frame. Also, uh, they consider that one there to be uh, one that could cause some significant problems. But then today, uh, of course, the third one I've been told about would be the one that's coming this year, the comet that will come through, I think, in April, which is what is r referred to by, um, oh, goodness, Gil Brassard. That's the one for this year. Today, however, what was brought to my attention was the a totally new set of time frames for Planet X. It does not change the, as I said, the 2030-2031 body. But so I asked if there was any updates on Planet X and I was told yes that the system that it is a part of will actually enter into our solar system by September this year 2021. And it was also told to me that by the end of the year of or excuse me 2022 sorry not 2021 but 2022 but by the end of this year, of 2022, it will begin to affect the planets uh, as it comes nearer to the Earth. That completely caught me off guard. I've been anticipating that these comets are or one of the two of these, at least out of the 203031, uh, as well as the 2024, 2025, would actually be Planet X. Then I'm totally blindsided by this information here. I went back to the initial information that I have on the memory stick that I gave Paul Bagley. U.S. Naval Observatory, for example, here announced uh, Dr. Robert S. Harrington, supervisor astronomer, he estimates on the path of Planet X. Now, this is one of the things on the on the memory stick, and I just put up a few clips here I wanted to share with you. Uh, this one here, also uh, this one, this is where uh, there was, you know, Dr. Robert H Harrington had a mysterious death, May 22nd, 2008. Uh, Dr. Robert S. Harrington, the chief astronomer of the U.S. Naval Observatory, died before he could publicize the fact that Planet X is approaching our solar system. Many feel his death a part of a cover-up, one in which government agencies quickly moved to conceal the most earth shaking discovery in history. If so, the search for the truth begins in, uh, um, well, I couldn't quite make out that, new something. This information they wanted to suppress back in 2008 
with John with the uh, the the U.S. government scientist, Doctor uh, Naval. She actually is a naval uh, astronomer, Doctor Doctor uh, Robert S. Harrington. The issue of that, then you have some of the effects that were on the memory stick here. There's there's much information on this memory stick, just an incredible amount of information, things that I have no clue, no understanding of. Um, but they said that as it approaches, the approaching signs would be increased earth wobble, extreme weather anomalies, intense seismic volcanic activity, crustal displacement, erratic declination of moon uh, uh, planets, increased fireballs, meteors, all of which are things that we're seeing happening. Uh, and it's no wonder why, and, and I've said this so many times in the meetings I'm in, you know, all the events that we're seeing that are happening, the anomalies and things like that, the, the extreme weather, uh, you know, now, the one thing we have not seen yet is the hypercanes. I know that they had predicted that we would see hypercanes, hurricanes that would have winds that would be higher than anything that we've ever seen before. Uh, we have seen that we did see the storms that came across the uh, Midwest. It would be in winds of excess of 100 miles an hour. We have seen uh, more meteorites in, than in recorded history. I mean, every year we're breaking records with the number of meteorites that are happening. The seismic activity, the volcanic activity is completely off the charts right, right now. And that's just from the energies that are coming in from the system. And, and they've told me this. They admit that that's true. That it's happening. The, those things, that is what's causing a lot of these things to take place. Things that are affecting the sun, etc. But then today I'm told that September it'll enter our solar system. By the end of the year, it'll begin to start affecting the planets themselves, the planets that are further out that would see this particular system coming through is what I'm assuming. Um, in fact, if you look, I think it's this video here. No, no, I don't think I have it up then. Yeah, here we go. This one right here, right? I put this video up here. This is in September. Uh, September 30th of 2022 right here and I'm not really sure where uh, that's when it's supposed to enter our solar system I'm assuming from this direction here by the end of the year I'm told it'll be affecting the planets let me just let me just pull it in like that there if that were to be the case by the end of the year now we're at um, January the 2nd, according to right there at the top of the screen there, of 2023. So if it's coming through there, then yes, it'd be affecting Saturn and Venus. Not quite affecting Earth as of yet. Then it would do its loop around. I'd have to find a, a map that would show 2024 of where the Earth would be at then. I have been told though, when it passes Earth, China, China will be the one that is the most greatly affected by Planet X. In so much so that China, it will destroy their ability for agricultural uh, gains. Now, also on that memory stick, if you remember, uh, the estimated arrival was Wednesday, December the 6th of 2023. Let me, let me just see out of curiosity. Uh, planets 2022. All right, let's see. Let's do it as 23. And we will put the planets... Just the way these guys here do it. Let me just see if I can pull up a video. And here we go. Nice. So we will take now. Because I'm assuming as it loops back around. As, as the 
Planet X is looping back around probably in here. And, and, and keep in mind, guys, I am no, by no means am I a uh, expert on these things here. I'm thinking maybe we might see this thing early 2023 affecting the Earth. Um, unless, let me just pull this around further. It's slower coming around or something, and we're going to see it more around the... Let's just take it out to December there area, roughly. Yeah, or back to... Let's back up see where the Earth is at December the 6th. Um, roughly right. Ooh, 12, 1... Here it is, 12, 6. And there again, I, I have no idea. The Earth has already gone around the sun again. You, you know, for us, it takes a year for us to get around. But this is uh, the orbit that this will be on. It'll be much further coming in. And like, for example, I forget what they say, how many years it takes for Pluto, for example, to go around the sun. As you can see, anytime you're moving these things, all these other planets are much, much slower, right? Much, much slower. The ones that are on the inside there are moving very, very rapidly. But Saturn, Jupiter, now Mars moves pretty quickly. Mercury, very fast. Uh, Venus, eh, a little faster than the Earth. That type thing there. So maybe it is in December like that, uh, December 6th. I, I really don't know the answer. I, I just don't know the answer to those things there. But I do know... that they're very worried about it and but at the same time when i say they're worried about it they're they're not worried about it as being a planet killer like as they are i mean they're they're very concerned about this comet that's coming to and through in 2030 2031 that's not changed they're anticipating that we could have an impact that would potentially be um extinction level event but as far as just Planet X itself, they're worried about two things. One, I know they're worried about who lives on this thing. That they're very much worried about. Who lives on this planet? Uh, reason being, and uh, and I need to see back, there's one other thing I wanted to share with you as well. Uh, get past all these Putin issues here. I, I still, by the way, I've not done with doing my report on Ukraine yet. Um, I was just looking, there was one other video, um, let's see, I'll have to probably, let me just open up a new frame here, uh, let's see, in the, in the, in the movie, or the, at least the television series Star Trek, the Borg, um, there is a spacecraft imagery. Let me let me let me see. Uh, when I was a kid, I watched the old Star Treks, but I never watched new ones. This thing right here is called a cube. I think this was part of yeah Star Trek called the Borg. There, we from what I've been hearing, we have been seeing a lot of new type of aliens and even new types of alien spacecraft, including one very similar to the cube that is in the Star Trek series uh, where they talk about the, the, uh, the Borg is what I, one of the things that was brought to my attention. For our government, the fear is those people that live on this planet X and as it nears our Earth. Uh, not to mention we will, though, go through major seismic activities. We will go through... Uh, very, very, very strong magnetic pulls as this planet comes by. And I still have not begin, have been given a date, but it is causing me to go back and revisit the memory stick uh, about this binary system and that date of December uh, of 2023. And also here, Wormwood, the, the horn god planet X, the fiery red dragging of old, the Orbis brown dwarf star called Nemesis, 
How are binary stars detectable only by uh, infrared telescopes far away? Nibiru, planet X, uh, circ a circumbinary ninth planet in our solar system, the planet of the crossing, 10 times larger than Jupiter, has a blue moon orbiting the size of Neptune, the red Kachina, planet X, ancient collision of planet X, former moon, split lower half of the Earth, uh, collision created our current moon and the asteroid belt between Earth and Mars. Planet X collision moved Earth from 2.3 AU to, to 1 AU closer um, let me back out so we can see that two hour sun uh, and uh, the blue Kachina Nibiru is orbiting the moon of a planet X home of Anunnaki see so notice I didn't put it on there too this is the home of the Anunnaki atmosphere contains monoatomic spiral gold to reflect incoming uh, uh, incoming uh, IR radiation from Nibiru and our sun spiral gold causes IR light to reflect blue light back to space, the, the math term golden ratio equals 1 to 1.61 may apply. Again, all these things are far beyond anything that I could ever even understand or anything about this, okay? So I'm just kind of sharing that type of information with you. And, uh, and so I want you guys to be able to see what's going on, what's actually happening here. And of course, with me, trying to report these things, you know, I, I wished I knew these things before I even started sometimes. I wish I knew about this, but uh, like I said, it doesn't change anything about 2030, 2031's comment or 2024, 2025 comment, uh, unless the 24, 20, 2024, 2025 comment that they're talking about, which is actually what I said to you recently, I felt like that would be the stronger possibility for the Planet X scenario. Uh, and, and it could be, that could be the one. We didn't have enough time to go into that. We're having a lot of issues going on right now. Um, and uh, so I will, I'm going to update you just as quick as I can on more information about this. Uh, but I wanted you to know now because this is flat out nerve wracking. And it explains too though why the threat of China Okay, why there is a threat of China right now uh, invading the United States? Because as I was told, China will their agricultural will be destroyed as a result. They want the United States for a new home, and I think that's why we're going to see all the wars are going to happen. One of the ancient documents that I have studied in relations to this Planet X crossing uh, is one of the Egyptian documents that I have studied on there. It talks about that all the kings of the earth would be at war first before this binary system comes through. I'll try to find that and share that details with you so that I can update you on that as well. But the scary thing is the thing is almost here. And uh, I, I don't even know what to think, really don't. And of course, the other thing is, is, you know, I know that they've told me before that these alien groups here are going to claim to be the saviors of our world, that we're in chaos, they come to save us. Well, that's right about the right timing. And, uh, and then on top of that, you have that, um, we just have a lot of, we have a lot of issues going on. And here this planet is on top of us right now. This is why I think the wars have sped up. This is why everything is speeding up right now. Planet X is about to come. And of course, don't forget, I've been told that the, the reptilians that work with our military have already been stating their cousins are returning, and they're returning soon. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Let's be prayed up more than you could ever imagine. God bless you and good evening.